People's Republic of China launched an estimated 11 ballistic missiles towards Taiwan, which impacted to the northeast, the east, and southeast of the island. We condemn these actions, which are irresponsible and at odds with our long-standing goal of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and in the region. China has chosen to overreact and use the speaker's visit as a pretext to increase provocative military activity in and around the Taiwan Strait. Secretary Austin today has directed that the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan and the ships in her strike group will remain on station in the general area to monitor the situation. We will conduct standard air and maritime transits through the Taiwan Strait in the next few weeks, consistent again with our long-standing approach to defending freedom of the seas and international law. And we will take further steps to demonstrate our commitment to the security of our allies in the region, and that includes Japan. Beijing's actions are of concern to Taiwan, to us, to partners around the world. Beijing's provocative actions are a significant escalation in its long-standing attempt to change the status quo. As just one example, over the past two years, the PRC has more than doubled the number of aircraft that they have flown over the center line that separates China and Taiwan as compared to the, to the time period between 2016 and 2020. And Beijing has pursued economic coercion, political interference, and cyber attacks against Taiwan, all of which erode the cross-strait status quo. The United States will be resolute, but also steady and responsible. We do not believe it is in our interest, Taiwan's interest, the region's interest, to allow tensions to escalate further, which is why a long-planned Minuteman III ICBM test scheduled for this week has been rescheduled for the near future. As China engages in destabilizing military exercises around Taiwan, the United States is demonstrating instead the behavior of a responsible nuclear power by reducing the risks of miscalculation and misperception. Been saying all week, nothing, nothing has changed about our one China policy, which is guided by the Taiwan Relations Act, the three joint US PRC communiques, and the six assurances. And we